Hi, Yuli. Sorry for my late reply. I have been busy working on the release of my book lately. It's not so easy to manage things from so far away, even though the internet has shortened distances considerably. Of course, the publishers would insist on my presence, but eventually they accepted that it won't be before the end of September. I want to arrange the house purchase by then. There are a few excellent offers, and I really like the idea of settling down in this country for good. And yes, this is also an answer to your question, which I have owed you a reply for months. I've realized it was much easier to make a decision than to put it into words. I'm going to stay here, even if the price is losing you. The scholarship in the States was your own decision, your little surprise. If we'd been planning together, my intentions would have come to light sooner. I'm sure you'll be doing well in America, and the Dawsons are enchanting people. You're a smart young woman, and I think you have every chance to begin a new life, one you've been longing for so much. You see, the same opportunity has opened up for me, only in my case it's right here in Hungary. We've traded places. You fell in love with what I wanted to get away from, and the same happened to me the other way around. You'll become an American, while I already feel Hungarian. God bless you, Jonathan. Welcome to the Empire of the Invisible. <laughs> this sounded <laughs> mystical. No need to be scared. There's nothing curious. Only that this is an Institute for Atomic Research. Hmm. Did you bring it? Yes, yes. I have it right here. Okay. Come this way. How many days did you say you can stay? You mean the examination will really take several days? As I promised, we will do a quick test today. But if you want to have an accurate result... Of course. Makes sense. Then I shall confirm a weekend program. Is it the Da Vinci? Marvellous. And you could look around downtown. Indeed. I've never been in Debrecen before. Any chance... Here we are. My headquarters. And there's my only little brother. Come over here, please. I've got to look after him while Dad and Mum are in Svalbard. Hello. My name is Blosh. Jonathan Hunt. Hi. But there's no need to look after him that much. I thought he's one of the researchers. <laughs> You're wasting your time. My sister still thinks I'm a toddler. Because you often act like one. Well, that's how we are. Make yourself at home. 
an environment analyst office. Not bad. A bit dull, perhaps. Vero has a vibrant personality, and let's admit, she's really charming. Did you say your parents are on Svalbard? Yes, this time for three months. They study the atmosphere. A wealth of information there. I can imagine. Indeed. Climate change is something everyone wants to know about. It would be foolish for a scientist to resist such a rewarding challenge. You mean our mom and dad? Learned scientists like our father and mother. Svalbard. Such an ice school adventure is not for me. Are these your parents? Yes. They used to send us postcards, but today it's enough to shoot a photo and I can pin it on the wall in a minute. Fantastic, isn't it? It is indeed. A shame Granny couldn't see these photos from the poles. You've promised some coffee on the phone. Oh, yes, there it is. Please help yourself. Would you give me some, too? Sure, thanks. How about you, Balazs? He doesn't want any. I see. Any sugar? Oh, yes. Four will do, thanks. Four? Here you are. Thanks. Do you like working here? When we last met in Eger, this job at Atomki was only a plan. Yes, yes. Everything has changed since. But I'm fine. Everything... What do you mean by everything? How about Mark? Uh, ended. A long-distance relationship is not worth a piece of curd. A uh, piece of curd? Oh, that oaf dared to contradict you just once, and that was it for him. Bollage! That's the truth. Mark wasn't willing to leave everything behind for you, and you got offended. Stop it. You don't know what you're talking about. How strange. We love each other so much with Pony, despite the thousand-mile distance. But you guys, please... Who's she? My girlfriend, Pony. Nice girl. She is, and I miss her a great deal. She lives in Germany. And why don't you go after her? Don't you give him ideas. He'll go to university this fall. They're thrilled to admit him. There's no alternative for a girl boy with such a brilliant brain. Look, he's a grown-up man and has his own will. Grown-up? You're kidding. He's as sharp as a razor, but if I don't put the food in front of him, he'd simply starve to death. Could anyone ever just ask me what I wanted to do? Or if I'm hungry at all? And yes, I will definitely go after Pony. Oh, come on. 
Even your passport's expired, and if I don't arrange it, you'll never be able to have it done. You shall stay, and that's it. It's better not to enrage Dad. Am I right, Jonathan? Well, I wouldn't comment on this right now. What about the water sample? My colleague will handle it in a minute. I've already told him. So we wait? Yes. <sighs> Is this water from your lot? No, but I'd like to buy it. Only the owner has jacked up the price, saying there's mineral water there. Now, I don't care about the water at all, but need to know the truth to bargain. Okay. We'll know that soon. Ah, I almost forgot. Could you please sign this order form? You know, the paperwork must be done. There's a pen on the desk. Done. You've got a lot of paperwork here in Hungary, but... The contracts are half as long as in the USA. Really? Oh, by the way, how's Yuli doing in the USA? Not too bad, I think. You think? You don't mean you guys too. But why? Because a long-distance relationship is not worth a piece of curd. Oh, I see. Tell me, is this really your dream job? Absolutely. Otomki offers so many opportunities. And Peter. I mean Mr. Lehotsky, the director. He does everything to maintain the high reputation of the Institute. Nice chap. You'll meet him. That's why I don't see why Balaj keeps whining. A summer like this would be the best practice for him. Pestering me again? Can you get off me now? Especially in front of the guest. Where are you going? Let him go. The cafe is open. Who cares? Morning sunshine in a hotel. Just like being on vacation. Aha! The phone. It's time to switch it on. I expect Vero's call any minute about the water analysis. If all goes well, I'll be back in Eger to have lunch in Hotel Senator. Since I got this, I rarely take real photographs. Just a shot here and there. Memories. I don't need them now. Excellent board games. I just don't have the time now.
my notebook. I don't go an inch without it. I've jotted down a few things about Debrecen while strolling aimlessly on the streets. There are a few shopping receipts here, too. Oh, I had more coffee yesterday than on a hard working day. Somehow I didn't enjoy solitude this time. Chocolate biscuits. For Vero. I hoped to take her out, but it didn't happen. It's partly my fault. I was to meet Paolo Galuzzi, the famous da Vinci researcher, who arrived here to open the exhibition. I fixed the meeting with him for Sunday because I thought a young woman would love to go out Saturday. And so she would. But she had another engagement where I wasn't invited. So we had to forget about sightseeing together. Not at all. I've been expecting your call. What time should I come to see you? Jonathan, can you come right now? Well, yes, of course, but why is it so urgent? Is everything all right? Something terrible happened. Bollage has disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean? He's gone. God knows where. He left a farewell letter. I see. Did he say where he was going? No. That letter makes me so worried. It looks as if... How could he do such a thing? Look, I've told you this before. Legally, he's an adult, and he's free to go against your will. I'm sure he'll turn up soon. No, he won't. This letter suggests he's been obsessed with something he may have discovered. Why? What does he write? Would you please read it for yourself? You're the investigator. An investigator? <laughs> Only if it's about history. You're the only one who can help me find my brother. The police won't do anything. Have you spoken to them? Yes. They won't start a search within 24 hours. And all they could do is kindly advise him to go home. It's ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. He's an adult. Okay. If you don't want to help me, and let that fool hardy brother of mine get involved in some foul play which might even cost his life, just say so. But if you feel just a little empathy... Okay, okay. Don't exaggerate. I'm on my way. You'll tell me everything, all right? Okay, hurry. I'm waiting for you. See you soon. See you. Well, it seems I'm not going to lunch in Hotel Senator today. a bad dream. That box of biscuits wouldn't be appropriate now anyway. Hi. Any news? News? None. No sign of bollage. But I don't expect any. Here's the letter. Read it for yourself. Right. I think Vero has a good reason to be worried, after all. 